My favorite genre of story is a band of misfits comes together to solve a problem. Um, and whenever I can make that happen in real life, it makes me really happy. I feel successful when I see people around me thriving. I feel really awkward and embarrassed when the spotlight is on me, uh, which is um, ironic because I wrote a memoir, but it was an accidental memoir. It was always supposed to be about other people, but then, you know, it needed a central protagonist to guide the reader through it, and so then it sort of became about me. But I think like telling my story is just a vehicle for getting other people's stories heard. So I'm the child of refugees from the Vietnam War, which is a highly uh, misunderstood and misrepresented piece of history because it's also part of American history. And the stuff that I grew up with was all American movies that were pretty bad when it came to like how they represented the Vietnamese experience of that war. So after just searching for a long time for like something that you know, told the story more accurately as my family experienced it, I realized that I just had to make it. The story was missing, and so, so I had to make what I was yearning for when I was growing up, and that I had access to um, two parents who were willing to talk. It was a really big deal. And, um, and my age being, you know, I was born in Vietnam, and I was like part of the, the refugee uh, wave in the late 70s. So I remember some of this stuff, but I'm also young enough to empathize with the younger generation that was born here. So I'm kind of this one and a half generation in between person who can talk to both sides. And I think that's something that's really needed right now. Now that I'm talking to college age students who are the children of refugees, there's a lot of, there's a lot of intergenerational uh, trauma and wounds to, to work through.